Hello, my friends. It's Rhonda with Blind Awakening Art. So we're going to do a little swipe today on a 4-inch ceramic tile. And you can see that I've already got some paint on my tile before I added this white pillow paint. And that other paint came from a couple of other tiles that I did with the same color palette. And I just saved all the runoff and dumped it right back on here. Um, so now I, I didn't have quite enough uh, for the pillow, so I did need to add some white. But I'm just kind of mixing that all together and smoothing it out a little bit. Um, and it gives it kind of a marbled effect. And because it had a lot of uh, pigment in it, the whole base is is really shimmery too. So that first color that I put down, TLP Violet Rain. The second color that I'm putting on now is Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. This is TLP Billabong and uh, this is TLP Atlantic and this there's no regular paint in here this is all pigment this is one of my favorites this is TLP Sangria it's oh I love Sangria it's a, a color shift from pink to purple, really pretty. This is Sapphire by TLP. And it, it is wow. It is a wow kind of a color, you guys. Um, I am so in love with the TLP pigments. I just cannot get enough of them. I have to use at least one in everything I do lately. Now... I've just got my cell activator on the back of my palette knife. My cell activator is just uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black and Australian Floetrol. So sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I struggle sometimes because I don't have depth perception. So sometimes I can't tell if my palette knife is still on the paint or not. <laughs> Sometimes I, I pick it up, sometimes I dig it in. And, and that's just the way it is. The swipes are a technique that um, require a lot of practice. And now we're gonna double date cell activators here. So I've got the oxide black, and then I also have a little drop of titanium white on top of that. So we're gonna go ahead and swipe again. And I think I maybe was able to keep my palette knife on top of the paint a little bit better this time than I did with that first swipe. Swipes are just a really cool technique. You, you can just get really creative with a swipe and uh, kind of control it a little bit more than you can with some of the other techniques. A lot of this is going to spin off, so this is going to get much larger and, and leave much less negative space than what you see right now. So I'm going to come in here and, uh, well, i got to come in with my magnifying glass because I'm sorry you have to look at my head, but <laughs> I have to, to look with my magnifying glass to really see what's going on down here. Um, I'm actually... On the other side of the camera right now with my magnifying glass looking at the video so that I can kind of narrate this as we go because I can't see it unless I have my magnifying glass so I'm gonna do a couple of little scoop and drag kind of things um, just a couple of little swirls just to try to add some some detail and um, I've got a, a gap right there that I'm just not digging, so <laughs> I'm going to try to try to get rid of that little gap and just kind of pick up some paint and drag it over and fill in the gap and kind of swirl it around that existing curve there. I love swipes though. They're so much fun. And honestly, on a small tile, I think they're a lot harder. 
uh, than they are on a big tile with a big or a big canvas with a large palette knife. I think it's harder on these little tiles with a little tiny tool. But this one, oh man, I wish you guys could see the color shift and the shimmer in this. Gotta tilt it just a little bit to uh, kind of get it a little more to the center. I'm gonna spin some more. If you haven't tried using a pigment, I would just highly recommend that you get some. <laughs> There's so many beautiful colors to choose from. I wish I had them all. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and lift this up. I'm going to bring it up to the camera. And, and try to show you so that you can see a little bit of that shimmer and color shift going on in there. And I apologize, my, my camera is really hard to see. I've got some, ugh, some dried gunky paint left over on my spinner that has now stuck to the bottom of my tiles. I'm trying to scrape that gunk off of there. Um, okay, so... But like I was saying, I, I apologize because I can't see my my screen very well. So sometimes I get um, out of out of camera uh, <laughs> with the tile. I think I'm holding it in the right place, and I'm probably not like that. Like I'm way down there at the bottom. So. I apologize for that. I will show you a couple of still shots at the end here, just so that you can see what the final result looked like. But you can see that sparkle, that shimmer. It's, uh, the shimmer is everything, you guys. It really is. Look at those pretty cells. Oh, I love this one. I wish I did this on a large canvas and not a small tile, so I may have to give that a shot because this turned out to be a really cool, really pretty color palette. I don't know if you can see the whole tile is shimmery because I used that leftover paint from some other projects. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of these still shots. So, hey, thanks for hanging out with me today. Let's paint a wor world filled with beauty, inspiration, and hope.